A boost to Singapore's national precision medicine strategy. It aims to sequence and analyse the genetic makeup of 100,000 Singaporeans and use these insights to create a customised approach to healthcare. Precision Health Research Singapore and Illumina have signed an agreement to collaborate on secure handling and the sharing of this data. They will also work together on developing artificial intelligence for genomics analysis. Today's strategic partnership is considered an important step in realising Singapore's SG100K goals. The SG100K project will be Asia's most comprehensive genome database, serving as a reference to not only improve the health of Singaporeans, but also patients across Asia. Giving an update at the signing ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister Hing Sui Kiet says 70,000 participants have enrolled in the SG100K project to date. They are now working to recruit the remaining participants over the next two years. The understanding of genomic clinical data linkages allows the targeting of therapies to patients who are most likely to respond, avoid severe drug reactions and maximise drug efficiency by prescribing the optimal dose. This new model of care has the potential to improve health outcomes, care delivery and cost effectiveness. And from all this, we have Susan Tusi. She's Chief Commercial Officer at Illumina and she joins us now. Ms Tusi, this survey, as we just mentioned, we have 70,000 already signed up, 30,000 yet to go. What happens when individuals sign up give their consent for this study. How is this survey conducted? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward in that um, an individual is interested, can sign up. They might hear about it through social media or through their care provider. And um, it's simply a blood test that's done and DNA is extracted and sequenced from that blood. Um, and then there's also a um, kind of a physical, a complete, you know, multi-hour uh, um, workup that is done on the patient that is kind of like you would have if you did an, an all-day physical um, where they would measure your, your weight and your height and, you know, talk about your family history and you know, things that we're kind of used to, and that's done by, you know, expert uh, healthcare professionals. So it's a fairly simple process um, to, to sign up and be part of the study. Oh, it's a simple process, but it does yield very revealing information. So, for example, we're talking about precision medicine, which is essentially more tailored, not one size fits all kind of medical care. But if you partner this with a genome analysis, genome information, you're looking at even more tailored uh, healthcare. Uh, Explain how that would work, given this SG100K project. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, what, what we're talking about is uh, the genome that is very specific to an individual. So we know that the 23 chromosome pairs that we inherit from our parents that are in every cell of our body, that is our genome. And um, every single person has a different set of, you know, genetics. Um, being able to know that genetics, you know, tells us whether we're predisposed to certain diseases and whether we should be screening earlier for those diseases. It tells us whether we may metabolize a drug differently than another individual. It tells us whether we have kind of risk of, you know, uh, passing on some mutation or rare variant that we have to, uh, to you know, our children. So um, it can tell us a lot that, that helps us ultimately to tailor, you know, and have better health um, individually. And that's what precision medicine is all about. On this project will be Asia's most comprehensive genome database. Uh, and it will, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that should help not just Singaporeans, but maybe expand it, or at least uh, parallels may be picked up to look at how uh, healthcare across Asia can be better, uh, I suppose, tailor-made to uh, Asian persons, assuming that some diseases, uh, some tendencies are specific to Asian genetic makeups. How would that work as an example? Yeah, that's exactly right. This is, you know, such an important study because this is the largest understanding of diversity in the Asian population. Um, so having a 100,000 data set um, that is very representative of all of Southeast Asia is, um, is going to be unique. Uh, up until this point, there have been many studies done primarily of, you know, people of white, you know, Caucasian uh, descent. And uh, as you say, 
that, you know, there will be diseases, there will be certain kinds of cancer that might be at risk or appear differently or have different genetic uh, variations than what might be in the white Caucasian population. Um, there might be different kinds of diabetes. Diabetes is a disease that covers, you know, many different forms. And knowing the exact um, mutations that might be in the Asian population allows for not only earlier screening, but better therapies to be developed and better monitoring of those therapies, ultimately really serving uh, the Asian population with therapeutics that are you know, made for them um, and better health care. Uh, I, I also want to say that Having this, you know, enriched data set that really talks about the, you know, biological diversity in the Asian genome is also going to help Caucasians. Understanding completely biological diversity is going to help everyone. And we are way lacking in kind of that level of understanding for uh, genetic variation in Asians. So we're incredibly excited about this. Oh, thanks so much for that. That was Susan Tusi from Illumina. That's a company that signed uh, an agreement with Precision Health Research Singapore to work together on the secure handling and sharing of data of the SG100K project.